Well, bless my soul, it's early, we're in Austin, and it's a great night in the morning. Now sit back, get your keyboard tippity-tapping, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Go! Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. It's, it's, it's daytime. Because it is. We're, we're sitting. We're sit- you sit in the day, you, you stand day. at night. Well, it's called, it's called day sitting. Television law says... <laughs> That in the that weirdly you're allowed to have wine at both, <laughs> yeah. whether it's a morning show or an evening no, show. No, in the day, in the morning you sit. Yes. In the afternoon you sit behind a bench. Right. And you judge other people, and then in the night you can stand up. Uh, okay, but but uh, how does uh, 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 Shepard Smith broke all them rules? He was standing, giving the news. Who does that? No, oh, he sat down. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, g- g- Google image search. Uh, uh, Shepard Smith. I ain't never I have seen a name. Him. Uh, Shepard Smith. Uh, yeah, he ain't never. He ain't never sat in his life. I will guarantee. On nine eleven, he was standing. Well, well, you're making two different claims. Yeah, now. exactly. Number one, I mean, you already backtracked by every day but one. <laughs> what do you mean? You said he ain't never. Look at him. Oh, sitting. sitting. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow, sitting. Wow. Sitting. That's from Did you search sitting. for the word sitting? Sitting. As I searched for Shepard Smith on set. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, well, there's one. Okay. You got one. A, it, now, that's him standing on set. Yeah, yeah, but that's not even him. Look, you can see the chair in this one. Yeah, look yeah, at that. He's he, sitting. Uh, two he, things. Was on, oh, he was sitting down on someone else's show. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Two, two things he did. He yeah. stood up to give the news. Also, okay. refused uh, to uh, speak uh, 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 The, in the evidence full says against that, so sure. <laughs> but let's go with your premise. <laughs> Fantasy land. Brian's fanfic. <laughs> Brian's Brian's early aughts Fox def- News fanfic. He definitely dispensed. Shepard Smith shuffled his papers seductively. <laughs> Ooh. He definitely. Oh, I'm liking this. Brian, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, yeah. definitely gave up. Great, great job, said Brett Bear. <laughs> And he gave up on full sentences, which is another thing that I loved about his reporting. He'd be all like, downtown, there it is. People. <laughs> Alive, New York. Wow, this is such a deep cut, but you're so fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a deep cut. I, like you had to be watching Fox News at 5:30 in the afternoon in in 2003. And, and <laughs> but uh, but there's definitely like whenever he was setting stuff up before he would go into his thing, it would just be skating, <laughs> ice, <laughs> tree. New York. Coming up next. Yeah. <laughs> Britney Spears has a snake. Uh, Brian. Yeah. We've got a, a, a show during the day because we're doing more politics coverage at night. Now, is there any chance we quite capture the magic that we had last time? No. Okay. No. I'm, good. I'm glad no, we got that. That was the pretty way. good. This is going to be. Uh, uh, I don't think I've even invited Heaton. But maybe Heaton shows up. Uh, maybe, would you like me to post guards or to stop him? Yes. From, yeah, in case he tries to breach the premises. <laughs> yes. No, I would love to have Heaton uh, be there. No, this is going to be the runoff, the Georgia runoff between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker. Should be a little bit of a a, a more truncated situation since there's only one race how, as opposed how, how to like five was, million. Was the original race. It was three points, I believe. Raphael Warnock wound up being up on Walker. Three, three so percentage points. Yeah. Okay. Not just three votes. <laughs> no, three <laughs> percentage points. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was Pac-Man points. Bro. Yeah. I was I mean, gonna say. I, know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know I'm how many saying, other points you think that would be. To do a whole runoff, I would expect it points. to be closer than than. than no, no, no. Three percent. We're not got the cherry in in George. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other guy got the Galaga ship. Uh, yep. uh, gets in the Georgia, if either gets over fifty percent, it's an automatic runoff. Got it. And so, if if n- neither of them. Of either, neither? neither. Is it neither or either? It's neither. neither. Either would be inclusive of both. Neither would be exclusionary of both. So I don't like. It's. Uh. Uh. I don't like the fact that peanuts kill my children. Neither, the Kia Soul. So those are two things I don't like. That's neither. So then, how would but, you say it with either? Uh. Uh. I do like vanilla ice cream. Either that or. <laughs> wow. Uh, a party for me. <laughs> Those are two right. things I like. I'll take either but one. Wait, in both scenarios, they're united. 
Uh, yes. But, so then but, why can't I say either if they're both united? It's neither. It, 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 uh, it's neither. The short answer is it's neither. Boy, what a Grinch. <laughs> oh, God, come on. We've got, we've got, Bryce, I don't know what happens. <laughs> I don't know what happens. When Bryce rolls out of bed, he does it with two six shooters. And he has been, he has been firing off. He is two guns starring Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg. Because he has been cracking wise <laughs> through this entire pre-show process. Yep. He just he uh, disemboweled Brett. Oh yeah. no, I didn't. Why do you he guys think I'm so quiet? I'm he disemboweled to... Brett. <laughs> wound over here. Brett Brett asked uh, innocently. Innocently. Uh, innocently. Wow. What did you ask, Brett? I asked how many, how many Tuesdays, Tuesdays between Christmas? now and Christmas. Christmas. And Bryce, what did you say? I said, Check your fucking calendar. What do you want from me? <laughs> What did you like want? immediate too. Uh, he got to my knees. <laughs> you, you, yeah. Did you think someone knew <laughs> off the hand? I, I, I did. You think somebody it. knew off the hand? <laughs> off, off the hand. Off, off the, the hand. hand. Off the hand. Off the, off off the hand. hand. Right. Neither the hand. Either the hand. <laughs> did Talk you to the hand. It's three before you go off it. Yeah. All right. That's, uh, that's the thing we like to call a Bryce burn. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's the Bryce burn. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got the we got the party we got the politics we smoke have the, with yeah, us. Yeah, we have the smoke machine on set. Uh hey Bryce, what's the first topic? All right, the topic. Brian got duck. Okay. I feel like somebody in this room will know what it means if I say I got ducked. So ducked, I would imagine if you said somebody was ducking me that they were avoiding me. So so did, you, did somebody avoid you? Uh well, that's somebody else ducking me. Yeah. I'm the one who got ducked. I got ducked. Wait, doesn't that That's mean? That's exactly what he said. Yeah, Je uh, Someone, Jeff. This uh, is not helping you neither <laughs> either thing. No, by the way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jeff. Oh, Jeff does not have a microphone. You can't be asking people who ask don't me. have microphones. Ask me. Uh, hey, Brett. Hey. What Brian? the fuck? Yeah. Uh, you ever you ever been ducked? <laughs> uh, like Fabio getting hit in the face with one? Wasn't that what? a wasn't that a dove? I don't. We don't. <laughs> That's uh, what I thought it was. I'm, I'm learning multiple levels. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you. You. I would think would know this because you used to be part of the tribe. You used to be a, 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 a Jeep, Jeepster. Oh. Oh. You don't, you don't not, know about this? Thing? Not in the first tribe. I, I no, of. two Jeeps, and I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so somewhere around the pandemic, somebody just went around uh, placing little rubber now duckies. I'm with you. Now I'm with you. Oh, now you're with yep. me. Okay. I got ducked. Wait, you got over now you're, you you claim to not even know what it was. I, did, I could, didn't put it together. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, I got ducked, and it's it's a dumb little thing where somebody takes a little rubber ducky and they place it on your Jeep, and you get to feel special for one second, and it's great. Yeah. And 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 I wondered maybe someday I'll get ducked, and then sure enough, walking out of Pluckers, uh, we'll pluck a duck. It was yeah, it was sitting there, and you initially thought it was me because we were at Pluckers together. Yeah. I showing how much this <laughs> left a memory. I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> You were in the story. <laughs> well, no, I was at the end of the story, so I was already driving away. Uh, and, and, I, I and then he's like, I was like, he's like, yo, is what? this you? And I'm like, no. And he's like, <laughs> okay. Because he was very excited. <laughs> Did you have a, was there a tag on it? No, no. I think at this point, ducking is now enough of a thing. And and I realized uh, it, it's not like I'm going to hold on to this. I'm just going to wait until I see a, a jeep a that cool looks like jeep. they're enjoying life somewhere, you know? Yes. Oh, so it, so you pass it forward? Yes. Uh, yes. I, I, I don't ducks. know if it was intended to be that way, and I, I suppose I could keep it on there, but, but uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Bonnie for Christmas got me that uh, uh, spare tire cover that says Jeep on yeah. there. So it's like, it's a safe bet that, that this guy's enjoying his Jeep. Oh, and that, that, and that's why. So now you're wondering why you got ducked yeah. of everybody else that could get and ducked now, in the universe. Now I have a duck, and I want to pay it forward, but I just look like, you know, I, yeah, oh, Grand Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're being, you're duck <laughs> keeping? <laughs> it's like, oh, 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 yeah. Mean, mean grill face Jeep. Whoa. <laughs> no, I don't think Square so. Square headlights? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, I mean, yours, your Jeep, uh, uh, rest in peace, would have been the the one that I that would put. Yeah. Up. So yeah. So what what are you looking for in a Jeep? You want to? I'll duck? know it when I a see Jeep it. Jeep. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody who uh, maybe remembers what being ducked. Wow. Was like. What? 
What? You know what? 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 Yeah. What? What? What, what do you look? For, what, what, what? What do you look for in a jilled? <laughs> what? A jeep? I'd like to duck. <laughs> To be honest, I do believe that would be guild. Oh wait, no, that's not right. Uh, to be honest, I kind of, I kind of want to put it on Brett's new car, like to mock him. Uh, oh, <laughs> like, I like love my go kart. Come on, it is, it is a go kart. Yeah, yeah. Hey. So you're gonna give up the whole concept of ducking just so you can give your friend Brett a compliment. But I've been ducked already, so. Well, yeah, I, but I, don't I, brag, about brag about it. About it. Wow. Yeah. You know, I don't need this second. Yeah, you know, I've been I've been right. ducked plenty of times. You're adorable. My Jeep, my Jeep was in Canada and it got That's ducked right. every day. <laughs> you would know it. You yeah. Would know it. Uh, whatever the anonymous stranger was, uh, I, I, it was, it was silly and deeply appreciated. That's all I wanted to say. I'm really excited now for you to to make your decision. Judge for, 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 for Jeep for Jeep Christ. Uh, Jeep Christ. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, like it's like the bachelor, only you select a savior. <laughs> like I give you the duck. So you have to make sure that you're not caught, right? That's part of it. Uh, uh I don't know. No, I mean that, I, I mean it's it would have been really lamer perfect. if you saw the person doing it. It's only magical because it's because you show to up be and there. it's there. Yeah. Although yeah. part of me likes the idea of being caught because like I'm wearing a Hamburglar outfit <laughs> and maybe I'm ducking like a cop car. It sounds like you just want to dress up like the Hamburglar. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> like I'm not going to deny that. Can we have a Hamburglar night where all of us just dress as Hamburglar? Please. The self indulgence in this podcast. I know. <laughs> How many weeks before Christmas? <laughs> Look on a fucking calendar. Yeah. Go to when? McDonald's. They'll tell you. <laughs> I mean, now, now that our address How is many there, hamburger fine. costumes do you think we could get in five hours? <laughs> I don't know. I trust the disguise is closing. So I trust I the know. internet. Uh, uh, Bryce, I, well, I, I, want, I want Duolingo for Robble Robble. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be a pretty quick course. <laughs> Yeah, wait, wait. No, 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 stop it. Uh, hold on. No, stop it. Stop it. Robble lingo. What do you think robble robble means if you were to look it up? Also, Duolingo, you're learning the phrase robble robble. Like, I think you know the phrase robble robble. Uh, uh, but a, a Google dictionary, Google translator, whatever, that, that, if, if you were to look up robble robble, what do you think it would mean? What is he saying whenever he goes robble robble? Well, I would imagine there's a society of hamburglers, right? Because once okay. you've stolen them, you have to be You're able to You're saying hamburglar is an ethnic minority. <laughs> yes. With its own yeah. language and culture. Yes. Well, what do you, there's got to be an economy where they sell all of those stolen hamburgers. So Ronald McDonald's Protestant. <laughs> yeah. What's grimace? Uh uh, uh boot Buddhist. <laughs> okay. And uh uh the hamburglar is what he steals burgers yeah he says robble robble yeah this yeah. is what we know about the hamburglar yeah we know that grimace is buddhist he's he's uh and that ronald mcdonald is as wasp as they come look at that <laughs> he wears a mask he has a zorro hat and cape and uh, a shock a of red hair dry. and he has one tooth okay fine i'll say it he's irish yeah <laughs> Oh, How rubble, rubble. <laughs> oh, rubble, rubble, boy. Oh. According to the latest 23 and Me, I can say that because uh, that's. Uh, I, I think we've talked about this on one of the Bones episodes, but boy, is there nothing like the entitlement you get when you find out that you're mostly some ethnicity. You're like, ah, I get to make those jokes. And then they send you an update. You're like, actually, yeah. further research has revealed yeah. you don't get to make those jokes. They're like, well, son of a... Mm. I get to make so many jokes. I know because you'll <laughs> so never go. Jokes. You'll never go to ancestry. So many jokes. Uh, <laughs> hey, Bryce. Uh, uh, yeah, Bryce. What's the next topic? Is Bryce still a great? Well, friends, Thanksgiving Ooh, is lingo. behind us, and uh, the holiday season is here, which means we have our annual tradition. <laughs> Of finding out whether or not our producer, Bryce Neshkom Castillo, has indeed let in the light of the season, or if he remains a low down, hating, stanky Grinch sitting Man, up on. Spanky? A uh, stanky, I said. I, I like spanky better. I don't. So, <laughs> okay. All right. How about we keep our own canon? Just, just, just Grinch face looking at Pornhub. You know, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm like 15 feet away from you. Uh, uh, Bryce, are you still a Grinch? Has has this season melted your heart? Not yet. I'm still Grinching. 
Why? I'm in, why I'm in my you... Grinch mode. So what, 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 what's what, it gonna take? Because we're all here. We 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 just placed an order for a bunch of Hamburglar costumes. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> what, a what good heist time. Yeah. Yeah. do we need to pull off? Uh, well, in Grinchy tradition. I feel like I want to steal Christmas. I I want to steal a Christmas. Okay, what if Christmas was a hamburger? That would be a pretty cheap Christmas. <laughs> Even then, a Big Mac? <laughs> yeah, that would be, you know what, what restaurant we're talking about, right? What, what? What restaurant we're, I mean, yeah, but I mean, all of McDonald's stuff is cheap. Yeah. That's all. That's, oh, la that's a, Oh, no. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, Bryce, so, so. Y- do you hate Christmas or do you actively want to prevent other people from enjoying Christmas? <laughs> I just I I don't I don't Por qué no las dos? <laughs> I don't have, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't have the love for Christmas. I don't hate it, but it's just is it's All right, let, let, a let, void. Let, 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 I've got let, a let, void. Let's, let, let, let's just do some back and forth yeah. and then you tell me your your just immediate reaction to it. Okay. Christmas music. Oh, bad! No, none of it. Even none of it. Even Paul McCartney. And that's it's fine. Even Vince Guaraldi. Who? No. All of it. no. The only good Christmas song was that one that we played like eight times last week. That's the only Mannheim Steamroller. Yeah, Mannheim Steamroller. Our, yeah, at MCI World Cup. Yeah, yeah. So wait, uh, giving giving presents. Giving presents. I I I. Tend to like to do it's. I don't like receiving gifts, but I I try to. Like, I got you a gift. gift. Cool. Hey, I got you a gift too. Fuck you. <laughs> get it. Get it away from me. A, a little bit. <laughs> why Why do you have a problem with that? I uh I I I don't know. I think there's is like this a deep seated childhood trauma. Well, maybe. But what like what if the gift was a subscription to BetterHelp? Well, well, a I'm in therapy and BetterHelp. Not one of the better options. I don't See, think. Okay, you know what? Thesis proven. Grinches can be I choosers. I feel like you got a very accurate uh, simulation. And, 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 and also, and also, I, ho- I hope your therapist starts uh, upping their podcast ad spend, asshole. We're, we're still. <laughs> We're still trying to make a living out here. <laughs> I just imagined giving him you. You do not. You do not. Look, you can come up here and you can say that Christmas is a piece of shit, that Santa Claus is a fraud, yeah. and that, that everything about from Christmas lights on down is absolute trash, but I swear to God, if you start running down podcast advertisers, <laughs> that's where I draw the line. I'm just saying, if you're going to have nice, pretty lights on your house, just leave them there. Just, let, just All keep year? them out. Yeah, why not? Well, but the then light would, actually, be special. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm here for this. I want to be special all the time. Maybe not the snowman, but, you so know, leave the lights up. the guy up. who leaves pretty lights up all year long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, People got, like that guy. got a letter from the HOA saying, please remove your dragon. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, that is true. <laughs> like, that like is I'm, true. I'm on, so far, I'm on your side. Yeah. Guys. Like, so would you consider yourself a Grinch? Uh Ooh. no I I just love Christmas I, Christmas should be the new normal it's I, I, everyone should have to everyone should have to casual be casual should be a Santa suit so that's if you are going to the beach yep you should be wearing a Santa suit yep uh or or at least be surrounded by people wearing Santa suits wow maybe 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 like in a, a frilly thong. With oh, so you can, you can you can have you, you can have, have different themed. versions of the Santa suit yeah but you got to keep the spirit alive. Otherwise, the spirit dies. But does it? Oh, I so, think it's just it's just you, you got to keep the ball in the air once a year. Uh, yeah, you just got to make it in for mass once, and then you're good for the next twelve months. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. So, w- uh, would 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 it be courteous that's for us the, to that's, all? That's the Christ guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> would would it be courteous to you and your very bizarre hatred of Christmas? <laughs> For us to all pretend that it doesn't exist? Well... That Christmas doesn't exist? Right, 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 right. We don't say the C word. Oh. You <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs> I, I don't... I'm not pushing anything on anybody. I, I'm just doing my own... I'm, I'm just in my own goblin hole, goblin moding it up. I'm goblin pilled, and I'm a Grinch. <laughs> um, I'm not... But I'm not pushing that on other people. You have your own holidays and religious... So you don't want to steal Christmas. You just no. don't... You want, because you, you, because you, if you, you were to you, steal you, it... You, you want to conscientiously object to it. 
if he stole yeah, it, then he'd have to have it, and that's the last thing he wants. Yeah, and then yeah. I have to eat it if I don't want to have it. Like, yeah. I, well, and also that that's like the story of the Grinch. Like, like if, if you're saying I hate Christmas, <laughs> then you only watch the first half of the fucking Grinch. <laughs> The second half of the Grinch is him trying to steal Christmas and realizing he loves Christmas. And that's the part of me that wants So you're a first half Grincher. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you are you are you I'm are an a, old testament. I'm an old Grincher. testament Grinch, that's right. An old testament. In your version <laughs> of the Grinch, he never he's just like, fuck the who's. So yeah. the end. <laughs> that's my that's my Tinder profile. It does say first half Grinch <laughs> looking for my second half Cindy Lou Who. Yeah. Maybe maybe we could do a. I denied the existence of Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> Cindy Lou Who we think might have been a historical figure. Yes. Was not the Who that changed the Grinch. Oh. I'm, I'm just ready to do a, a GoFundMe for like heart enlargement uh, surgery. <laughs> We're only looking to, to to three size it. Come on. Yeah. You can you can go up. You can go up three sizes. I guess. Wait, wait, wait. I just Hold got some new uh, shirts. Uh, I don't want to. Now, all of a sudden, I'm fascinated. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, which, which do you uh, hate especially more? Especially since you're mostly a giver and not a receiver. Uh, 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 gifts. Is, mm-hmm. is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which do you hate more, Christmas or uh, Valentine's Day? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, ooh, it's <laughs> that's a, that's a, a, a this techno is a... song right there. <laughs> ooh. 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 Uh, I guess I would say that I hate v- <laughs> Valentine's Day more. Okay, okay. why? Wait. Why? All Be- those Valentine's Day songs you always hear <laughs> for a month leading up to it. <laughs> Is it all the Mar- Valentine's Mar- lights that everybody is uh, putting up? Valentine's just, light. just the chronically singleness of it all, I guess. That's that's mm. more personal. No, but that's cringiness. not. That's that's you know that that's that's. Is that for me? I don't. Yeah. I don't have a. I don't have a thought on. Veterans well, no, Day. I'm not I, a veteran. Obviously, you don't have a thought if you're single on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Christmas or mm. St. Patty's Day? Which do I hate more? Yeah. Uh, Christmas. Yeah, because you can easily avoid St. Patrick's Day. I, uh, what, it, it, it can, it can come yeah, and go. Stay and off have, the roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can come and go, and you have no idea. I mean, and you can get pinched on that day, so it's like the opposite of Valentine's Day. Ooh, uh, Christmas or April it, Fool's? It, 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 it oh. normalizes physical assault? Yes. Uh, April Fool's by a good margin. You You really don't like being tricked. It's I'm I'm just oh, I'm over it. It's it that we went through the decade where online April Fools was happening. <laughs> it feels performative. All right, Christmas or Veterans Day? <laughs> uh, Which one do you hate more? Obviously, that's gonna be a real tiebreaker. It's gonna be. You close. really hate Christmas, but boy, do you hate the men and women who have served this country. No, that's often something that Bryce will just be uh, spitting mad about. Yeah. Some people say that the red velvet of Santa's outfit is kind of like the camo of the North Pole. How, who says that? Bryce's own fan fiction. Where, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you want to know what? Santa, we've got uh, to. We, o- we only have anywhere between uh, uh, two and four more Tuesdays until Christmas. <laughs> so uh, uh, we're going to do our best to warm young Bryce's heart uh, throughout yep. throughout all of this process. I'm going to give, I'm gonna give the Bryce next so many gifts. Everybody, send oh, your no, gifts. No, send no. your yeah. gifts. Everybody, no, no. Gonna, send <laughs> your <laughs> gifts. Send <laughs> your <laughs> gifts. <laughs> Send Damn. your gifts. We're gonna, we're gonna make this the merriest fucking Christmas of all time. Yes. Go to the Discord and get the get the get get the address. We're, this is not a joke. Send gifts to Bryce. Uh, yeah, uh, because every time I mention the address, I have to buy a firearm. <laughs> 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 this is a real thing to happen. Yeah, the, the person who actually lives here gets a present themselves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another eventually another like, weapon to defend himself. <laughs> eventually, because he'll be all like, "Tree, don't want to mention the address a few more times." <laughs> <laughs> Here's a catalog. Uh, next topic. Our next topic. Indiana Jones and the Jury Seat. Y'all see that uh, in, in Indiana Jones trailer? Uh, I, I, I I watched it because uh, uh, I had to. Um, <laughs> The um, but but I was struck by one of our runners in the Patreon bonus episodes. Which, by the way, if you're not a Patreon, if you ain't bones in it, yeah, get get on the, get on that bones. 
Mm-hmm. Get them on them bones. Roll them, them bones. Oh my god. Play them bones. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> now, I'm just, now I'm just picturing. Uh, never mind. Yeah. This is your story. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, we, we we had a running bit about how switches were out and dials were the new hotness. That was on that was on our bonus episode. So we went on this extended runner about dials for some reason. And the next thing you know. The trailer for the new Indiana Jones movie is released, and it is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. <laughs> Look at that. So. Really? Yeah. It's a pretty bad name. Yeah. It's but it's so, not as it's bad so, as Crystal Skull. That was really bad. That was really bad. I no, uh, well, uh, That was a bad movie. Not a bad name, because the Crystal Skull was an actual, interesting, fascinating, well-known 1970s pseudoscientifical artifact, right? Difficult. Is it well-known? I didn't know. Off the hand, uh, is it well known? <laughs> <laughs> Either. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, whereas a dial, I, I don't know. A like soap? a sudden dial? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it, probably what it that's is. a good way to find out how many Tuesdays are between now and Christmas. <laughs> that is <laughs> a good way. Dial Somebody of get dial up a dial of destiny for us to have. Uh, uh, I, I thought the trailer was okay. I was expecting it to be a pile of shit because that last movie was a pile of shit. Uh, but it, yeah, that it, that was uh, John Reese Davies as Sala, right? Uh, old, I believe so. Yeah, I, th- I think uh, like they didn't say Indy. Yeah, hey, bad what, days. Do you want Do you want to go on an adventure? <laughs> I, re- I really don't. I just like uh, I'm married to Callista Flockhart now. It's it's pretty great. But what if money? <laughs> what if money? <laughs> my 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 Sala's becoming a uh, uh, Doc Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Indy, Indy. Uh, yeah, the only solid quotes I remember are uh, "bad dates" and uh, "I am the monarch of the sea" or whatever he says. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks good. Flea bags in it. Uh, uh, they've canonically written out Shia LaBeouf, I guess. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, Mutt died on the way to his home planet. <laughs> Let's move on. But Nazis are back. I'm just glad they, they 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 figured it out, man. We just like the ones with the Nazis. The jungle ones, not as good as the Nazi. They only make two flavors of Indiana Jones. Two flavors. Jungle flavor jungle and Nazi flavor. flavor. Nazi yep. flavor. And what do you like Nazi flavor? flavor more? Sure. Yeah, but what right? if you, what if what if you um, uh, do a suicide and blend them together? Not you could it's always dominant. One is dominant. Either you're going to end up in a temple in the jungle mm-hmm. or you're going to end up in Europe with some Nazis. That's it. There's only two ways that 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 those movies okay. come. So so per this logic, yeah. the literal opening of Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark takes place in a jungle and has Nazis. Is that a Nazi scene or a jungle scene? No, that's the opener. The opener doesn't count. Obviously. <laughs> okay. okay, the opener doesn't count. It's what the main plot is about, and Raiders of the Lost Ark is about Nazis. Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Second one was about the jungle. With, with, oh with no! According to your your logic, it's about the cabarets of Tokyo. No, wait, what? No, because uh, that's the intro. Uh, well, no, Club uh, Obi Wan. <laughs> um, nice but, try, Lao. But 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 there's no Nazis in that. Yeah, because they go to the jungle. <laughs> okay. Right. right? I mean, I'm not gonna fight you on this. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, they go to the jungle. They yeah. Go to the jungles of India. They they uh, have the 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 the, the, the little dust up with Kalima, a little Day, dust up. Uh, uh, monkey brains. Hey, yeah. By the way, in this trailer, he's like, "I'm a hardcore skeptic, and I don't believe in magic. Although I have spoken an incantation that caused magic glowing stones <laughs> to burn through a bag right. once." <laughs> you, like like uh, no, dude, I'm not I'm not buying that. Yeah, no. He watched. Well, I guess he didn't watch because he had his eyes closed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, but he had he had his own heart ripped out and got hypnotized. Oh yeah, he by did, magic. He did drink from the cup of Christ and right. it healed his wounds. And it healed his wounds instantly. <laughs> like, yeah, but I'm like, <laughs> that's not magic. That's, that's, not, magic. that's not magic. Yeah. That's real. That's it's real. Indiana Jones is that's the probably ultimate probably probiotics. He's the ultimate. Uh, Eh, I'm not fooled. <laughs> like, like you were gonna he, die. He is the most low down <laughs> hater of all time. He's like watching actual miracles happen before him. Like, cause even if he didn't see the the Ark of the Covenant destroy all the Nazis, all the Nazis were definitely he, dead. He sure closed his. He sure gave advice. I strongly advise you close your eyes. But I mean, 
Uh, not that I believe in this mumbo jumbo. Yeah, yeah but, but anyway, it'll definitely save our lives. But that, yeah, that was that was the that was the, the the deleted scene where he was like, "I suggest you close your eyes," and then they had him just do like a wank motion, <laughs> like <laughs> he he starts tiptoeing like the Hamburglar and <laughs> slicing throats and laying down the body. <laughs> Hold on and open them. Whoa, pretty spooky stuff, huh? <laughs> spooky stuff. <laughs> oh, that tickled you. But now it's just I don't I don't know what the the supernatural element of this one is. He did see an alien in in <laughs> in, in, in the newer one. Spaceship. Like an alien just shows up and is like, "What's up, dude?" And he's like, "I don't know. This movie's weird." And then that was it. <laughs> what, what more could they do? <laughs> like I don't believe in these fairy tales. <laughs> he got the, he walks into a tea party with the Loch Ness monster Sasquatch, <laughs> five aliens, and, and Kreskin reading his mind. <laughs> He's like, ah, meh, I'm not fooled. Yeah, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> but look at have you seen this dial? <laughs> That'd be funny if that was the end of the entire Indiana Jones. Oh, I think like, it ended quite a while ago. No, no, no. If it was just him being like, I guess it was real. Do you think he dies in this one? Boy, he loves just, just dying. I think he feels it's the only way that they'll stop paying him money. And yet, ironically, he just makes more and more money every yes. time he dies. Every time he's like... This like, one, his son shows, a, a son shows up and he says... Dad, I love you, and he says I know, and then he kills him. <laughs> the, yeah. son? Yeah. He kills yeah. the son? Yeah, the son. That's the way it always works, right? <laughs> uh, well, no, no. This time it would be Fleabag Lady. Fleabag Lady she is, yeah, him. she's gonna be like, uh, 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 I guess I'll kill you. It's, uh. it's the only way I can become an archaeologist. Is yeah, to kill the <laughs> previous one. That seems like a bit of an odd fit. I, I think she's great. Uh, uh, Phoebe Wallace. Waller Bridges. Waller Bridges. Waller Bridges. Waller Bridges. Waller Bridges. Bridges. But not exactly. I guess she does have like a cockiness to her. Okay, she has I, a confidence. I, I, I don't She's know if in the chat room, BioCow is trolling us right now, but he says Ford should be the next Bond. Uh, <laughs> Do you think that was a joke? I, I, I hope it was. Like, what would that look like? Let's take it deadly serious. <laughs> Number one, he's too old. He's way too old. <laughs> Number two, an American Bond. <laughs> Sound off in the comment section if you think that Harrison Ford should be the next Bond. <laughs> uh, what's the next topic? Our next topic. Have yourself a vertical exit. Oh, my God. All right. Let me just explain this before Brian goes off on his thing. There are times when even a licensed a Brianologist like myself, <laughs> who is well-versed in all of the, 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 the tips and tricks of how to understand Brian communicating, which is, first and foremost, uh, he doesn't actually mean he just jumped over a cliff while having his pants eaten off by an alligator. Right. He means... He got his food faster than he should have at that's, Backspin. That's, that's, and this is a metaphor that he is using. Right. He is assuming you were also there at Backspin. Uh, so it's boring to say what really happened. He's using a metaphor. I'm, I'm realizing that uh, I, I am the living embodiment of the Darmek and Jalad at Tanagra, where it's just like I'm nothing but references that maybe, maybe I'm the only one in the room who get. But we're going over our pre show ideas of what to talk about. And what do you say, Brian? Uh, I say, oh, I think for the first time ever, my Christmas card might be vertical video. Pause. Who understands exactly what that means? I'm one. Looking around. I got one finger. There's one, one person. Two fingers. Ashley in the back. I do not. Okay. okay. All right. So I will tell you as your translator. <laughs> Brian doesn't, and his family, the Brushwoods, for many years have not done uh, mailed out physical Christmas cards. They instead shoot a video and send it out uh, to everybody, sub subscribers, followers on social media, and then there'll be an email to like friends and family that'll like make sure that they get the video if they're not following on on social media. And for many years, this video has been a time lapse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe 100% of them. And uh, in, in technology has changed uh, over the years. You know, it used to be a, a DSLR camera that was set up to a laptop to, you know, there would only be one angle that we would get. But then, you know, as phones have gotten better, you're able to do kind of burst mode and get 
this this kind of uh, 10 frames per second janky vision looking like an old 1920s uh, talkie mm -hmm. only we don't talk um uh and then uh, uh this was the year that finally i was just like you know what we have phones i'll bet there's an app and so we we did it and um and i realized uh, oh the app really wants you to hold it this way you guys not incorrectly pointed out that well hold on well, before we get there <laughs> so brian just states confidently and again i feel like i'm way ahead of the curve because i at least understand the premise but i'm like uh uh well brian's uh, uh i gotta shoot it uh portrait mode and i'm like okay one of two things <laughs> both of which are totally plausible. <laughs> and I will find out for the first time here. Mm -hmm. Either A, Brian has investigated the app and found that there's a quirk with the app where either it's difficult to do it horizontally or, and this is a production mindset, it might fuck up if it's uh, horizontal. And you definitely don't want to do that when this is a process that will take a couple hours, you're wrangling kids, you're wrangling dogs, so you want the most solid thing. Or he just doesn't want to even investigate whether or not it is something that could be switched horizontal. It could be as easy as him flipping all the phones <laughs> sideways, but he does not want to even look into it. And so instead, he would rather make himself feel better by loudly stating to strangers, well, gotta be portrait mode. <laughs> Uh, and so now for the first time, is it one of those two? Uh, one, one of those two is very close. Okay. I, I did not want to investigate because <laughs> the, the real answer is I don't want to, I, I, I want to put it out as a YouTube short uh, so, so that it will reach the most number of people. Wait. Oh, I even thought like, oh, is this a short? It's this is not a shorts thing. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, it, that limits me to only doing one minute long, and it it it, it means I'm shooting natively in portrait mode with with three phones and uh, uh, all, uh, also it, I went on to complain about working with kids and dogs. Um, uh, Which that now, whose that, kids or dogs are they? Yeah, mine. Oh. That is that Brian saying. You know they say in Hollywood, don't work with kids or dogs, and I gotta do both. That's like me hearing jingle bells for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it happens every fucking year. Every year, Brian yep. makes the same reference. It, 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 it well, makes, and, it and, makes well, me know. And, and I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why I'm, why I forget. It's like, like, okay, okay, technical stuff. We got it all set up. Camera, camera, camera. Record, record, record. Okay, let's get started. And then immediately. One of my kids just just decided that it's fun to, to to fuck with me, and it's like, God damn it, I'm a director right now, and you're wow. not hitting hit your fucking mark. Oh no, we're having a good time. They're just realizing. Wait, hold on. When you say like your kids fuck with you, oh yeah, what does fuck with you mean? Uh, 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 okay, we all agree that we're going to go to this place. We're going to perform these actions. Yes, yes, we understand. That's the premise. Um, then it becomes opposite day. <laughs> And, and and the kids just go and cover the camera with their hands. Oh, and stuff, gotcha! Which is yeah. like I, I can't work with that. What, what, what's going on here? So anyway, when when is the shoot? Uh, already done. Already done. Yeah, I needed a week before I was willing to admit that it happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was challenging. Oh, so you already you already threw all this? Yeah, but but now I have to edit it and put it together, and I have to figure out what kind of music to put it on. It, it it's because this is something cute. that you edit yourself every year yeah, it, it, you, you, you get you can't fob it off to the to, to the brights I, I i could but but that would feel um uh, uh weird like a, a relief uh oh, <laughs> oh, but, no. uh, but, oh no. but also disingenuous I'm sorry. <laughs> bryce this this don't count this as a gift that i'm giving you <laughs> <laughs> don't count this uh uh in fact i'll tell you what let's go ahead and let everybody know that if you want our bonus episode the only place that you can get it is patreon.com slash great night again patreon.com slash great night every single thursday you get a full bonus episode of this program and uh it ain't gonna stop they're going to stop. Bones no. is a great podcast. Yeah. Some people are saying it's better than the real thing. Uh, <laughs> so, so, some. Yep. Many are saying. Many people are Many, people people are many talking. such cases. Yeah. Many such cases. Yep. Can you believe that how fucking influential all that fucking speak is? Just talking that way is like a. a, a oh, Trump, Trump tweets. Yeah, Trump yeah. speaking. Many I mean, it's very. It's 
fucking hilarious. <laughs> Many such cases is a very, I uh, know the one that I like, and we were joking about yesterday was uh, uh, just everything like a dog. <laughs> like, like, oh, like, like, like he buckled like a dog. Like a dog. Have, have you not p picked up on this? I haven't heard like. Only it. real Trump heads know, yeah. uh, uh, people who study his Twitter account, uh, uh, that he, he, he uses a lot of like a dogs. Mm hmm. But they're never really. They don't work. Like, they're never like they're, yeah, they're correctly it, used. It's like like oh like he cried like a dog. Like a dog. Like, <laughs> like, a dog. Yeah, like it's always uh, other things. But he 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 very much is like a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we have a game, Bryce? Uh, we do have a game. And why is it called I Hate Christmas? <laughs> well, that's just that's my culture. So sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, no, this is uh, and it's not your costume. <laughs> it's not a costume, no. Uh, this is uh, a, a classic game. We've done this before. The Hollywood Walk of Fame or Shame. Uh, you probably know the Hollywood Walk of Fame is about 15 blocks of Hollywood Boulevard and features nearly 3,000 brass stars bearing the names of actors, musicians, characters, and groups of people. I'm going to give you the name of an entertainment icon, and you're going to have to tell me if they made the Walk of Fame or face the Walk of Shame. Because they don't because have, they don't have a star. Because they don't have a star. Yeah. So, so gonna, do they have a star? Or do they not? Have a do they have a star? Uh, do, they uh, uh, do you do you want to you want to buy a star? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do you not? Well, I don't know. I hadn't like thought who, about who, it. Who, who, Are you selling? Who, who throws that out there if you don't want to do it? Well, I hadn't I hadn't considered it because uh, apparently it's it's basically you write a check for roughly fifty thousand dollars and pay someone to. Petition. Yeah, that is know. a lot of money to, to not get anything. <laughs> no, you get a star. You get a star. Yeah, yeah. on the Walk of Fame. Oh, the, okay. the Hollywood Walk. I thought you were talking about the Star Registry stuff. No, oh no, oh, no, my. that's only fifty bucks. <laughs> I was yeah. like, that's way. I'm, uh, yeah. man, you I really what? got screwed yeah. on the app oh, on that one. Uh, what about a star? You want to buy uh, an actual star? No. Oh, okay. All right. No, I do not. <laughs> uh, Bryce, what's our first? All right. So our first one, uh, Brett. Would you like to play? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, our first one here. Uh, I don't know if we've done these last time, but we'll, we'll just we'll just kind of go through them. Uh, Donna Summer, Donna Summer, Justin, we're going to start with you. Does Donna Summer have who left the cake out in the rain? What? Nope. Yeah. That's oh, Donna Summer started song. singing. Oh, I I I I only know hot stuff. Hmm. Hot stuff, something missing. That came before they baked the cake. Hot and then stuff, they left it out in the rain. Put in a cake. <laughs> Gonna get some hot stuff. It is some coal. Bryce will love it. <laughs> it's coal. I love non-renewable energy. More of like a like a like a cooing kind of uh, ballad for Bryce. He really wants me to edit that video. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> We won't try to cheer you up for Christmas if you edit the shorts video. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I believe that uh, uh, Summer Kama Donna indeed has a star on the Walk of Fame. All right, uh, Brian. What do you she think? was a big, yeah. She was a big, a big, uh, a big queen. Yeah, disco. Queen. Yeah. Uh, by the way, do, do they do they like if you don't pay your dues, they rip up your star or? <laughs> they did I don't guy. Wait, did, did they take did they take no, OJ's star away? Trump's a few times. Well, well I mean, people yeah, did that. yeah, yeah, but that's not just, that's people. not the International Star Committee. Yeah, no, yeah. that's, show, that's they that's show up like hamburglers yeah. <laughs> with, with jackhammers. Robble, robble, robble. <laughs> Stop the robble. Um, yeah, uh, no, uh, uh, no, summer, she, she, she did not. She did not. No, why did you not? Uh, uh, because uh, it was a fad. No, um, uh, uh, cocaine. You think okay. Donna Summer has a cocaine problem, and that's why she didn't get a star on the Walk of Fame? No, I, I think that she accidentally commissioned a star made of cocaine, and mm. it was placed, but it didn't last very long. Who left the cocaine in the rain? Hot stuff. <laughs> She'll yep. never get that recipe again. <laughs> All right. Well, Justin said yes. Brian said no. We were looking for... She does have oh. a star. That's a point on for the Justin. board. On the board. Mm. Good start for me. Good, good, good. Good start. Oh. Starting uh, strong. Her ceremony was on uh, like bull. Strong. 92, 1992. Uh, that's what I'm saying in my head. Bravo. And outside of my head, <laughs> with my mouth. <laughs> uh, into a microphone. Into a microphone. Uh, and it's being distributed. Uh, okay. Uh, syndicated on the internet. Uh, <laughs> okay. Delivered to you in your ear. Now it's in your head. So, so does it just stay there forever? Yeah. 
I think so. The galaxy expands infinitely, Brian. Yep. Oh, so the, the street just gets longer. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it reaches Austin. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's it. All the way down I-10, up from 281 from uh, San Antonio. There's parts of the border that uh, <laughs> are mostly just walks of fame stars. <laughs> That's that's the uh, that's the plan to build the wall. It's yep. like, what are we doing with all these stars? We should stack them. Exactly. And make a wall. Okay. Because people are trampling over Lee Greenwood's star. <laughs> you know what's funny is uh, uh, that is not any of the frequently asked questions on walkoffame.com. How long do they have the star? So I think they keep it forever. Uh, all right. What's next? Okay. Uh, next one, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Finally. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Does Brad Pitt have a star mm. on the Hollywood Walk mm. of Fame? So Brad Pitt, Thelma and Louise. <laughs> Get on this Brad guy. Pitt, Moneyball. <laughs> yep. Brad Pitt, uh, Snatch. Meet Joe Black. <laughs> Meet Joe Black. Uh, pit. Uh, Twelve uh, months. Get him a pit. <laughs> Open up the pit. <laughs> so th there's a, a Ocean's of... Eleven. <laughs> uh, Ocean's Twelve. <laughs> There's Ocean 13. <laughs> I didn't see Ocean's 8. I don't know if he had a cameo. He's not in it. Okay. Dead that butt. was the lady one. I, 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 I'm going to say counterintuitively, uh, no. He is a very big star. However, you, you it's, it's a present you buy for yourself. And seems like that would be kind of a punk rock move for him to not. Well, I mean, but that's the thing is like sometimes the superstars get it early. Like when they're still kind of like on the rise. Yeah. So it's like, like maybe it was like in that, in that like earlier like he was just kind of the, the do, do you remember guy. when he was on jackass no yeah no it, it was like uh, that thing that jackass does where it's like whenever somebody who you may not know they'll they'll put their name on there in front of in front of them you know like it, they're acting like you don't know if that's brad pitt it's, it's, so it just says brad pitt and so he's in a hot dog line waiting to get a hot dog a van pulls up and the jackass crew kidnaps him and he screams screams and then gets sucked in and then it peels off and everyone's like did, did I just see Brad Pitt get kidnapped? <laughs> that was the bit. That was the bit. Yeah. He's kidnapping Brad Pitt. Yeah. Uh, all right. Good. Brian's going to say no. Justin, Brad Pitt. Yeah, I was trying to screw Brian. I, 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 don't, think, I don't think he has a star. No. You're going to say no? Yeah. All right. You both said no. And the answer that we were looking for, for both of you, as I face ID my phone. <laughs> Your awesomeness, it shines too bright. It's Exactly right. Hey. No star. No star. All right, here's one for you. Uh, and we're going to start with Brian on this one. Yeah, Brian. I should go twice. Well, oh. Okay. No, I, I agree. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to robble, robble that place in line. Okay. It, 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 it's snake format. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, huh? what's that? So I can, like, like, if you're drafting... Uh, uh, it's like one through eight, and then eight goes twice, and then you count back up to one. <laughs> but we're doing that with just two of us. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Right. So, right. yeah. Brian. Yeah. What Ready. about uh, Senor Wences? What about Olympia Dukakis? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought mine was going to be weirder. <laughs> uh, Olympia Dukakis. Uh, I. I, I, I What's was your she, favorite was Olympia Dukakis movie? <laughs> I want to say, was, was she in Moonlighting or or? I don't believe she could. was Olympia Dukakis in Moonlighting. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you... I was hoping for somebody else to answer. <laughs> yeah, I was just repeating. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say she does have a star on the Walk of Fame. What's her favorite? The big line she had. Oh, it was please, please, just it's just a vote. <laughs> It's just a vote. It's just a vote. Come on. Yeah. Won't hurt, won't hurt you. Won't. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna bite you. So what? He drove a tank once. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, does that make him a criminal? I actually don't know if we're talking about the daughter or wife of Michael Dukakis. She, she's you know? related in some way to Michael I can Dukakis. tell you that she is his cousin. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's why she said, uh, come on, it's just a vote. <laughs> come on, man. I'm a little bit Dukakis. Is she an actress? Yes. yes. She was She's a, an actress. Some yeah. people are saying. And she kept the name Dukakis. <laughs> yes. Dukakis. Maybe but that's before, how she got the game. Before gig. he was, he was in or It was a bad been. idea then. <laughs> Why? She, she did all name? right. Did she? Yes. 
So you know who we're talking what, about. Yes. What, what, what's your what's favorite your favorite role? Olympia Dukakis role? I do believe she was in. Well, I know she, she was. She Moonstruck. was the yellow lion. She was in Moonstruck. I know that she Moonstruck. Yeah, See? I think she was in uh, um, Moonraker. Sure <laughs> uh, the 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 one with uh, 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 Dolly Parton and nine, to, nine five. to five. No, the other one where Paul Miner's daughter. No. I can't remember. See, now I can't remember. But I mean, she would talk about the old video. She did the like, like, 80s Cat. and 90s. She had a run of uh, of a whole bunch of movies and, and like really good roles. And then, of course, I can't remember any of them. Mm. I was so high back then. Yeah. But mm. how high? Not really that high. <laughs> you couldn't even keep the bit going. <laughs> you couldn't even just lie for that's time. Pretty so high. High. I, I, that's pretty high. That's pretty high. I keep so the high. Bit going. Didn't check does, my calendar. Though. That's Dang how it. high I was. Oh, right. well, let's let's fix uh, fix that right uh, now. Yeah. 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 All right. So Brian says yes. Justin, yeah. does Olympia Dukakis have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? No. You're gonna say no. Why do you say no? I don't know who this woman is. Steel Magnolias. Yeah. How about how about how about uh, she has to steal a star because she ain't got one herself. All right. Okay. Yeah. Know who I'll bet you has a bunch of them? People that were in the movie Magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> Not Steel Magnolias. Not, Not Steel, Steel Magnolias. Magnolias. Nope. But the original. Magnolias. Earned yeah, Magnolias. Earned, yes. <laughs> okay. Exactly. <laughs> Gold Magnolias. <laughs> we're with Not Dog Steel Magnolias. Yeah. Off body Magnolia. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to stick with she does. Okay. Stars can't melt Steel Magnolias. <laughs> Brian, your answer of yes is. Oh, uh, Olympia Dukakis, born 1931. She was in Moonstruck. She was in Sinatra. Uh, Joan she was of, in Sinatra. Joan yeah. of Arc from 1999. She was in The Naked Gun, 33 and a third. Sure. Uh, Picture Perfect, uh, The Event. Any of these? Wait, The Event? Yeah. The, the M. Night Shyamalan with the trees? No, from 2003 what? by Tom Fitzgerald. No. What? No. No, no, the happening. That's, that's the that's happening. A, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah, never mind. I knew you were wrong, but I didn't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a safe bet. Yeah. All right, Brett, what's the score? It is three? tied up. Brian 2, Justin 2. Mm. Here we go. Brian 2, Justin 2. Mm. We're going to go to Justin on this one. All right. Justin, tell me about Clayton Moore. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about him. You you might know him. Why? Why? In fact, it's kind of curious that in our entire friendship, yeah. you've never ever, not even once, once mentioned Clayton Moore. Yeah, uh, is there something you want to explain? Mm -hmm. Clayton Moore, summoned from a mirror when you say his name seven <laughs> times in a row. <laughs> yeah, he has become a staple of American entertainment. Sure, he invented the microchip. <laughs> he invented the potato chip. Is that is his what Moore's laws? Yep, it's all about chips. Yep. Right. Loves man loves chips. <laughs> Every seven years, he gets way smarter. Uh, and and invented uh, was the sh original showrunner for the program chips. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Eric Estrada and all. Yeah. Oh yeah, Estrada loved him. Oh yeah. He yeah. He, he, he remember he he lived, he, 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 say, he wrote Clayton that song Moore about lived him. in Estrada's pool. <laughs> yeah. That's Not why, even the pool the house, house in, in the, the pool. pool. <laughs> He was a, mostly an aquatic creature. He's a lizard. Yeah, he's a lizard. <laughs> it was empty most of the time, but sometimes. I think you're describing an amphibian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, in, oh, interesting. Interesting. You might yeah, think. Sorry, that. I'm not. I'm not good at zoos. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Clayton Moore, otherwise known as the Lone Ranger. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, him. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was the wrong guy. I was thinking of. <laughs> Uh, you're thinking uh, of Claymore? Uh, no, of course, <laughs> yes. The Lone Ranger has a star on the Walk of Fame. Him and I don't know all those that, old cowboys, no, like, like for example. <laughs> oh, you know, there's old Stinky Bart, and then there was there was old there was uh, 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 the 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 Panama Kid and his sidekick, the younger Panama Kid, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and then uh, there was the Lone Ranger, the <laughs> Ranger with a lot of friends, the socially connected Ranger. There was a special there holiday was, Grinch Ranger. Yeah, <laughs> I, there was of course, of course the, the the digital Rangers, which uh, you know, they're they're the Power Rangers, you know. <laughs> Walker Texas Ranger, the Ford Ranger, Texas Rangers, the uh, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. The I think range, it does have the Ranger Ranger Rover. <laughs> the Ranger Rover. The Ranger Ro- Rover. Rover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you. I think he has a star on the Walk of Fame. You're gonna say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, both of you said yes. Both of you are. You win. Correct. Yay! Correct. Uh, he got that in. 1987. Mm-hmm. 1987. Yeah, Boy, that's a long time to you wait think, uh, uh, for a star like you're. Uh, yeah, I don't think you made it. Lone Do you Ranger. think Army Hammer's gonna get one? No. He was in the new Lone Ranger, along with Johnny Depp, who is Tonto. Did, does Johnny Depp have a star? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll find out. Later in the show. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going back to Justin on this one because we're snaking it. Snaking it. Snake it. Snake it. Straight snaking. Snake it. Justin, I'd like for you to tell me about Boys to Men. <laughs> boys to Men. But boys to Men. Motown Philly back again. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. That's exactly what it sounds yeah. like. Mm. At the end of the road. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. To well, I didn't realize how much I only know the harmony. It sounds like an Ariana Grande song right now. No, not one single word is being enunciated. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Remember the one they did with Mariah Carey? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and I know it's burning down on me from heaven. You like so. <laughs> Man, your friends were lost to. See, I remember all Mariah's lyrics. I don't remember any of the Boys to Men lyrics. Wow. What does that say about you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's probably telling. Uh, all right, do with- Boys to Men. Well, they boys to Men. Really, I mean, like. It seems like something that you would buy for boys to men when they're when they're Hot. when they're hitting. Yeah. yeah. And they were hitting in now, the 90s. Now, now they're men to older men. I think no, now now it is because just Because they're old. It, now now it's just a prophecy that was long ago fulfilled. And even the word boys is problematic now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not you're not even allowed to be a boy anymore. I know. On this PC culture. Straight yeah. men. I think it was really mostly just because uh, we never saw their bar mitzvah. <laughs> is that yeah? And they're really defensive about it when they when they went from boys to men. <laughs> that's right, but, yeah. but like that's why they named their band that. They're like, yo, because they were all getting up. bar mitzvah at the same time, and yes. they're like, I got the greatest name for a band. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I would like to believe, like, they were 14 years old and getting teased, and they were like, uh, hey, we're men now. It's like, I didn't see it. It's like, no, we, for reals, we had a bar mitzvah and everything. And then they, they you know, named themselves. Boys to men. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think they have a star. Justin's going to say yes? I, I think they do, too. Brian's going to say yes? All right. Yeah. Boys to men. The boys to men's warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to like I the way I say it. it. <laughs> the boys I guarantee, guarantee it. it. The boys to they men should add that line. guy to the group. That that was team. money on the table. George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman got got kicked out of his own company. Yep, that's right. He was he was too too making too many guarantees. <laughs> that's yeah. what happened. Yep, you're, you're writing like, checks you're your like, ass can't cash. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will ever hurt your feelings. I guarantee it. <laughs> like you can't do that, George. Yeah, you can't do that. No, you're gonna make a million like... dollars today. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> this you're gonna be guy. like the FTX guy. You can't promise that. He's gonna Come make on. you president. <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh, hey, caramba. Mm. All right, uh, we're starting with Justin. Oh no, you both said yes. Yep, and you both were. Yes, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. High scoring, high scoring. They got the ceremony in 2012. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's 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 a bit. That's that that that, that smells like uh, one last big album. <laughs> they were they were trying <laughs> Just to be before like for the reunion tour. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. All right, uh, oh yeah. Brett, after five rounds, what's the score, please? It's a high scoring, high falutin, high jazzy Jeff. I don't know. Hi, Jazzy. Uh, Brian <laughs> has four points. Justin has four points. That was probably something that Boys to Men said at some point in their career. <laughs> hi, Jazzy Jeff. Hey, hi, hey, Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Like they were moving in the same circles. Yeah. 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 Both from Philly. Yep. I wonder if they fought. 
Oh, hey, it turns he, out the boys to men were the bullies from the Fresh Prince that's of Bel Air. Exactly. They, and, and <laughs> wow. wow. Now that's some canon. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wow. That's some canon. His mom did get scared. Yeah. yeah. All right. We got a, a few more here. Uh, we're going to start with Brian on this one. Ready. Brian, back to you. Julia Roberts. Bullies to men. <laughs> Julia Roberts. Yeah. yeah. She has to be, right? She's such a, a pretty woman. She's a stalwart. Of Hollywood, icon. Yep. Yep. She's the meanest Tinkerbell ever. Yeah. In Hook. Wait, wait, wait. She wasn't mean. Yes, she was. She, she was bossy. No, but the behind the scenes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. She didn't like it. So no, that, was just, that was just a passing reference to the behind the scenes drama yep. of Hook. Well, yep. no, I, I I didn't know about this. 96 I mean, first of all, Hook. Some, sometimes I go deep. But but uh, uh, like, how could she be mean? She's like uh, off camera in a green screen box at all times. Like, who that is would, she mean? That to? would probably make you mean. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you, you, you want me to? You want me to hit this again? Hydrate, hydrate. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, Julia no, Roberts definitely, definitely has a star. I was gonna say definitely yes, Justin. No, I, I'm gonna say this. She might have gotten big enough, but she didn't need it. Like, like, to, like falling in that that mushy middle of like she doesn't want to get it because that would seem like her run is over. We're yeah. like, even now, like, like I, I, would 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 anybody be shocked if she was in like a movie that dominated the Oscars? Or I mean, wasn't she? She was just in a big movie with uh, George Clooney. Yeah, and it was like like they were just doing the same shtick that they've always done. It's like look at these two charming. Handsome people did, flirt did, with each other. Do you ever do you ever get her mixed up with uh, Sandra Bullock? I did Hell in this no. conversation. Yep. I definitely uh, was like, she was in Homecoming. Yeah, and then, no. and, and then and I had the same thought, like, wasn't she in Gravity? And I was like, no, uh, it wasn't. No, yeah. no was Sandra. Sandra Bullock was slightly more rural coded. Like <laughs> wow. she was, she was more rural coded. Uh, yeah. of, of Julia Roberts. The, the most fucked up Julia Roberts thing is like the most. She had like she. Abandoned her fiance and like flew to Ireland with his best friend. Which one? Which one married Lyle Keeper, Lovett for it was, twenty minutes? Are you talking about Runaway Bride? No, Kiefer <laughs> Sutherland. She was like married. To, it was either it was Robert Patrick and Kiefer Sutherland were the two dudes. I can't, I can't remember which one she okay. was uh, engaged to, but they were best friends. And then she was like, "I actually like your friend better," and like wa- like ran away. That's why Runaway Bride was like a, a script that was like a, a big get for her because she had she had done a she thing like that. She actually did it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Based on a true story. Yeah. Based on a real Roberts. Yep. But did did she marry Lyle Levin? I think she did. Yeah, yeah she did for a while. Okay. And it was great because everybody outside of the uh, state of Texas was like, she's marrying that guy? And everybody in Texas was like, "Good catch. he's marrying her? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love Lyle. Who? What? Yeah. Uh, All right, yes. so Brian said yes. Justin, Julia Roberts. Oh, yeah, no. I already said no. Oh, you're going to say no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is it. Here we go. Uh, Justin, you said no, and your answer of no is... Curry! Hey! Julia Roberts does not have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Julia Roberts. I took a guess, and I was fucking right now. Good for you. <laughs> All right, uh, Brett, before we go to our final round, what is the score one last time? It's a nail-biter, Bryce. Yeah. We've got Brian with four points. Mm. We've got Justin with five points. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is our five-point round, so it's still anybody's game. God damn it. Right. These points, man. I guess guess, uh, Justin has to go first, because otherwise... Uh, Correct. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Justin. The implication. And this for five, we got Oh, look at Mr. Game Theory over <laughs> here. Look at Mr. Game Theory. <laughs> Why don't we say it at the same time? Okay. Okay. All right, ready. That might be fun. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, gentlemen, uh, we'll count to three after this, but the uh, okay. Hollywood star we're looking for is Johnny Depp. <laughs> all right. Everybody think, say, take a minute. Think about it. Yep. Get a, uh, little, get a little thinking timing. Okay. All right. Johnny Depp. Pirates of the Caribbean. I like yep. This. Old, old, Chuck old, old, old clean sheets. We used Ew. to call them. Um, All right. Now we don't call them that There's anymore. There's a, a, a what? What's the one that they had the other movies with the other guys? 
Willy Wonka? No. The he was at the show. It was a television show, and then they made the movies. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Jump, Jump Street. Street. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. it. Yeah. He was yeah. in that. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't he in one of the the, the Freddy Krueger movies? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, was I, he I in Dream the Warriors original. or is it the the original? The original. One. The original yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Remember, he he was trapped in a um a waterbed. Yep. Yeah. But also he he, he was he, in that one. He did uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he was uh in okay. That one. All right. You ready? Shot All right. A lot. Uh, I said you ever seen Chocolat? <laughs> no, I haven't. I, All right, I'm going to count to three. Okay. You're going to tell me yes or no. Maybe okay. if you have your thumb out, up or down, that might also help this process. Uh, okay. All right, ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Yeah! Yes. Oh, Justin said yes. Brian said no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I was just, Bri- Brian, Brian, he, he Brian just mostly get said who I. Yeah, 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 no, I just signify his yeah. support of the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> He's not putting his thumb just, down. Gonna, He's just trying to drop it. He doesn't, he does, he doesn't <laughs> have. No, like, I'm going to say no. Thumb off of me. It, was, it wasn't so much of a no as a no. <laughs> no? All right. Justin, I'm going to take your answer. And drop it in the answer mm. hole here. Mm. Yay, answer mm. hole. Mm. 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 Come on. Oh, 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 oh. All right! Hey, 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 hey. Johnny Depp did nothing Whoa. wrong. Johnny Depp did nothing wrong. In the context of this question, broadly, I would say otherwise, I don't know. But in terms of this shit, he definitely got a star. Boom! That's right. Uh, How 19. does Deb get a star <laughs> on the walk of fame? <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, if you've got an idea for a game, please send it in. Uh, greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this. It's really there. Some people keep asking, but it's really there in the description of where you're enjoying this. So please check it there. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Brett. What did we learn? Uh, uh, not a lot, but I do have awards. <laughs> since we're going to end this quickly. <laughs> yep. Uh, 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 we will have a. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot. We got to go, right? Uh, so we ha- it's two Tuesdays till Christmas. <laughs> oh. Award goes to Grinch Castillo. Ah, thank you. We uh, <laughs> uh, and we know the suddenly realizing you're short on lyrics award goes to Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Thank and, you. And Brian just always gets the dialed in award. I, 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 there you are yeah. dialed in. <laughs> yep. Just want to be a hamburglar, man. We know. We know. We know. I believe in you. I, I, want all I believe that your Christmas miracle will come true and we'll be hamburglers. You're, you're going to show up one day and there's going to be just a mountain of hamburgers and you're going to be like, what's this? And then I'll say, turn around. And you'll, there'll be like six matching hamburger outfits and tape all guns. And then I'll turn back to the hamburgers and they'll be gone. <laughs> and you'll just, you'll just look me dead in the eye and say, Robble, robble, motherfucker. <laughs> Is there no honor among robblers? <laughs> okay, we love you guys. Shout out, you crazy diamond. See you next Tuesday. Tuesday. Me alive. Oh, it's been a great night. Me survive. Past noon. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>